Hello, this is Hawk the Bean, and today we're going somewhere new. This is a subreddit about uh, stories that people have of weird things that happen to them that have been collectively dubbed as a glitch in the matrix. It's when something unexplainable or strange happens that cannot be explained and by normal science, but could possibly be explained by the a universe being a simulation and us experiencing some small glitches in that simulation. I can try and figure out a rational explanation, but for some of these, the most rational explanation would probably be something that would come out of a science fiction and a movie and or book or television show. Nothing that would actually rationally make sense in the real world. If you liked today's video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. My container vanished. So I did some shopping and I got some storage tubs. I was going to start cleaning up my closets and packing things away for the summer. I got in touch with a blue lid so that I would remember that this is winter stuff. I went to grab my tub which was down by the door and it was just gone. I called my husband to ask if he had taken it, which he didn't, and he remembered seeing it when he left this morning. The kids were already at school and it was there when they walked out to the bus. Very interesting, but there's a lot of things that probably could have happened that might have led to a container getting misplaced. Even as simple as, um, just it got stolen or something. Has anyone ha had anything similar happen, like overlapping double memories? I feel like compared to what I've ha what I've read here, or so far, this is nothing major, but it's been a while and I'm still a little spooked. During nighttime, I was going to get a glass of water from the kitchen. I then turn the hallway light on. I get it and go to the hallway to return to my room. The faint silhouette of the light on the ceiling was visible, and it was dark because the light was off. But at the same time, it was on lighting up the area around it, like I was seeing double. Two things that can't co go oh, exist. It was on and off at the same time, bright and dark. I don't know how to explain it. It was just freaky. Like two different memories overlapped of the same event, and I witnessed both of them clearly, so I can't tell, so I can't call one a fake. So, yeah, what the heck, lol? I think I've seen something like that in an anime called Steins Gate, but I don't know if it's anything that I've ever heard of in real life. So this might be a, a proper glitch in the Matrix or something, or something completely relating to quantum physics, who knows. I do wonder if this is the right subreddit. These are really, really short. What do I do now? Actual glitch in the matrix in real life has left me wondering what to do now. A lovely woman in large brown sunglasses matching large brown hair passed in front of me, hanging to my left. She looked directly at me and she had a very cool style, so I know her. Less than a minute later, she walked in front of me, headed to my left again. She looked at me in the sa exact same way, exact same head tilt, timing all of it. This was at a, a very crowded music festival, so there was no physical way she could have circled and passed in front of me in that short amount of time. Okay, I can accept this reality, but now what? How, how do I deal with this?
Alright. That could easily be explained by twins, doppelgangers, or, um... Really? There's a lot of different ways to explain it. Maybe even just an intentional prank. A plastic egg tub I don't own appeared in front of me, and I watched it happen. Something strange happened, and I'm confused on what I just saw. I was just sitting in my room, scrolling on my phone. I decided to look away from my phone, just staring at the air in front of me for a moment. Suddenly, an empty plastic tub with a blue lid appeared in front of me, as if it popped into existence. I've never owned a tub like that, and it was inexplicably lo new looking. I'm sure it's not a dream as I'm writing this with the tub in my lap. And I've never taken any mind-altering drugs or alcohol. This is extremely strange to me as I watched it appear out of thin eye air before my very eyes. There's no questioning it. I'm not under the influence of anything. A brand new plastic tub appeared out of thin air, and I saw it completely sober. If anyone knows a way to explain what the heck happened here, please do explain it. I'm not lying. As I wanted to make up a story, I choose something more believable. I just want to figure out where this dang tub came from. <sighs> oh my goodness! <laughs> this is related to the first post we read. Now we know where it went. Hmm. We're getting to some of the juicier ones, so... Last night, when I went into Winco, it was like an alternate dimension. I mean... That's kind of what stores are. When I first got my shopping cart from Corral, it had a dog trapper in the car, and I thought, you know... I don't really like to uh, try to try for, for my taste. And then it literally disappeared. It's, or it was more like a free store for some reason. Like no one was paying anything at all and not a person seemed to mind. So I filled that freaker right up and walked out the door. Today I still have all of that stuff. Probably about a thousand bucks worth of items. This isn't quite so much glitch in the matrix as they don't, they aren't paid enough to uh, care. I thought that's really glitched in Matrix as the Dr. Pepper are disappearing. <sighs> hmm. So, I managed to time travel? So once when I was in high school, sophomore year specifically, that is not how you spell sophomore. Is it? it doesn't feel like it. <sighs> I decided to take a NyQuil uh, and PM cold pill at the same time, then went to school. I proceeded to have a blackout episode. I woke up, well, not really, but like getting, regained control and sense of what's happening. It was experience. School started at 8.15 a.m. and now it was 1.30 p.m. I had no idea of what had happened and how I got there. I immediately went through my book bag and found complete homework and a few other assignments. I needed to finish. However, I had no oh, memory doing them or getting them. I don't even remember lunch at all. I was super confused for a while, but the bell rang and I went to my next class. It was very confusing. It was like I had just suddenly stopped being aware of everything for hours and suddenly regained awareness. Yes. It was like I teleported or time traveled. That's what happens when you take NyQuil during the day. Hmm. Hang on, I'm gonna just over the top of uh, 
this week will probably be better stories, you know? Let's just go ahead and do this so with a few of them. Alright. I briefly understood Vietnamese. So this is a very minor glitch, but I'm still thinking about it a few days later. I'm a dealer in a casino. I also do Ubakarat, which is very popular with Asian people. So all day at work, I'm pretty rarely hearing English from any of my players. A few days ago, I had a table full of some of my regulars, a group of older Vietnamese ladies. They understand English just fine, but don't speak it very well. So I'm just sitting, looking over at one of the TVs watching hockey, while they take their time placing their bets. For any, everyone unfamiliar with this game that I'm not going to try and say again because I think I said it wrong. There is a big scoreboard at, on the table that keeps track of the results of the hands. Think like roulette. Roulette. The ladies are all chanting and I'm not saying a word of it, but then I hear an English one say to another, Hold on, I can't see the, the board. What was the last hand? So I turned the board more of the direction to tell what the hand was. All the ladies immediately start yelling at me, You speak Viet and not say anything? And I'm confused and tell them, I'm pretty sure she said, said that in English. They insist to me they don't speak English to each other and joke that after listening to them, all the time I must have learned something. Maybe she did say it in English and didn't know this, but the fact that all of them got excited about me impossibly understanding makes me think something was weird about this that situation. You don't say. My cat is teleporting around my room. Just now, my father and I were watching our five year old orange tab in our room. He could be a rambunctious guy, always running off to go knock things over, or generally go insane around the house. I always put so far. Sorry, just trying to get my drink. So we keep it in our room with us when we aren't moving around the house. We have a pretty large space in our room. It's basically its own apartment, so it gets plenty of space to run up, up, up here where we can still keep an eye, eye on him. You know, we were watching him just now as he crept towards the door to our room to try to escape. We called him from the door multiple times to never take our eye off the door area. It's slightly around a quarter, so we couldn't see exactly where he was standing. We knew he was over there because we had both watched him walk over there. There's n nope. Oh, where else around that corner for him to stand? Just the door. No, he comes right away when we call him, because he knows he isn't supposed to be by the door. He was scratched over to pieces also. But there was no response. We stared at the door area, and he never walked out from that, that area, even though we both saw him walk over there. We both stood up and to check, and he just wasn't there. We searched all the spots in the room, especially his favorite, underneath my partner's office chair. Not there either. Well, we checked everywhere twice, and when we go back to the office ch chair, there he is, exactly where he was it. Now, I know cats are fast, but there's no way. We both watched him walk to the door, but then he just wasn't by the door. We both saw him not under the chair, for him to be under the chair. We both just kind of shrugged it off because cats, you know, cats are weird, cats are trippies. Cats just be like that. <laughs> but then, I was sitting on our couch where I could see the chair he was under. Never saw him leave from the spot after I sat down. I did my blanket moves and he is under my blanket with me. 
he even looks spooked. I mean, this questioning me out like, Mom, what happened? I am stunned. My partner ever saw me lift my blanket up and find him. We are both speechless. Kitty is sitting on my partner's lap now, acting as if nothing happened. This all happened within two to three minutes. It's also. What do you think about this? Is this a glitch in Matrix or do you guys just be like that? He seems like he was not trying to teleport around today. <laughs> I mean, this can be explained as a cat's just being weird, but honestly, this is more weird than normal for even cats. Hang on, let's just... Okay, so... Extra Switch play appeared out of nowhere. So, this happened this morning at work. I was playing a bathroom and I started by taking off all the Switch plates. We, they were rolling too. And then I cut everything in. I took three steps out of the bathroom to grab my roller, turned around and went back again to find another Switch play on the wall. I took off, I still on the vanity with the screws and in the picture. You can see the wall is already painted behind the Switch plate. Hang on, let's just see. Huh. There was Ben living in the unit, but he was in the other room on, on the phone the whole time. It took no longer than five seconds to grab a roller, and there was no way he could have had time to do it, even as a prank. Not only do I not know how it got back on the wall, but I have no idea where this extra plate even came from since they were I know others like it that I was working with. That's odd. A picture came alive. Green the stories keeps reminding me of my own. This is pretty short, but a picture on my wall started moving. It's usually a picture of a strange male deer with its head raised in a farmer's field. But for about five seconds, its head was down eating, and two female deer were in the background be eating before this spread off, and the male oh, lifted his head to his default position. Okay. Oh, here's a story in the comments. This might be interesting. This is my childhood nightmare. When I was little, my parents had a painting of a soldier in uniform. I could see from my bed and when the door was cracked, several times I saw the man in the painting move his head and look at me. The scariest experience was after I begged my parents to get rid of the painting. My dad calmed me down and I started to drift to sleep. I had that feeling where you know you are being watched. I opened my eyes and I had never ever forgotten this. He turned his head and smiled. The next day my dad threw the painting away. Years later, my dad told me he had heard me moving around my bed and was looking down the hall trying to decide if he should check on me again. While glancing down the hallway, he saw the man in the painting turn his head and smile. Wow, that actually scared me. <laughs> That's actually horrifying. I'm just going to close that and we can move on to the next story. About the sky being broken? Maybe this was not such a good idea after all. So I first wore teeth outside out of the house around 12.30 a.m. last as April 29th. I looked up because I love watching night sky. It was a clear... And I saw some familiar constellations, but then I noticed something was wrong. I feel the hair at the back of my, my neck froze. My head felt light, and my, my legs felt wobbly. The night sky was moving too fast. When you watch the night sky for a few minutes with your bare eyes, it's very noticeable that it's moving. I initially thought the star I was looking at was some fast moving satellite, but during the few minutes that I was brushing my teeth, I noticed that the big dipper, along with the whole night sky, moved, moved by about 30 to 40 degrees. It was very noticeable because I had the top of the tree as a reference. I even called my wife to take a look 
And even she knows that the sky is moving. I really thought that she that the world was about to end, but I didn't feel anything else, like the earth was actually spinning in quicker than it should have been. I even slipped my mind to take a video because my mind was not float. Anyone else knows this? <laughs> that is funny. Alright, well, I actually might be needing to stop the video soon. Hmm. What if I have my own? I don't quite remember a lot of things too easily when I'm recording. Maybe I'll write down something when I'm not. Make a video on that as well. It's not quite sure I have my own stories that I just can't think of right, right off the top of my head. Very quick story. Looked at a clock out of my living room wall for four years. The whole thing was black and was designed at, as just an outline for a clock. Look, all, wiry, all wiry and very distinct. I looked at the back. I, I cancelled the clock to tell the time for four years. A couple weeks ago, I woke up and the clock hands were gold. They have remained gold ever since. I asked my mom who I live with and she said they've always been gold. Okay, here goes. Poke your holes in this or explain it to me. Welcome to Dimension Jumping. I've been close to the first time. Actually, I've had this happen. I've had this happen a few times. Um... This was um, a few, like a year or so ago. Let's just go with that number because it's easier to remember. So, I remember uh, uh, playing with and uh, hanging out with, uh, with a cat that I have here named Salem. The next day, I know that Salem isn't around, so I ask my younger her sibling, where did the cat go? And uh, apparently, the cat had been dead for like a few weeks at that point. To me, this is a shock because just the previous day, we were hanging out with the cat, and I was even petting him and cuddling with him, and then he's just gone. Mm. All right, well, I think that's it for today's video. I'm going to have nightmares for a few weeks, and I, I, I don't think the chills are going to go away after that nightmare story about the um, painting smiling at, that, uh, at the kids and stuff. If you liked today's video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Who knows what I'm doing tomorrow. All I know is that I'll be making another video. So until then, goodbye!